Ah, Frey Bentos. You know, that city in Uruguay famous for its ports and cuisine. In particular, its pies and puddings. Um, and they're also very popular in the United Kingdom. Um, imported daily via uh, ships and planes um, to many of the cheap shops. And that's why I've got this one today. So, fresh in from Uruguay. Um, is the Fay Bentos meaty puds? Um, obviously, Fay Bentos is famous for you know the pies that you can buy. You can buy them in the oven, um, and uh, you get a pie with a nice top, and then you know bugger all in the middle. Um, don't know what this one's gonna be like, but it looks quite nice in the picture. Um, it's just steak. There's probably not much steak in this. There's probably colon and bloody ear and all sorts of disgusting stuff. Um, probably not even a cow, but we will shall find out. It might be brilliant. Uh, I got this one from Poundland. It was a pound. Um, might be good value. Might not be. Never tried one of these before. Um, it's very similar to the goblin ones. Uh, that you can guess or used to get. I haven't seen one in a very long time, but I have uh, have tried one of those before, and uh, from what I can remember, it wasn't that great. So we shall see. Uh, I don't know how long they've been doing these for. So first time I saw it, anyway. Um, so yeah, let's have a look in the ingredients. So we have water, wheat flour, wheat flour, wheat flour, gluten. Uh, calcium carbonate, iron knackin, thiamin, uh, beef, we've got 15% beef in, which, yeah, doesn't really surprise me, it's only a pound. Uh, beef fat, uh, modified maize starch, salt acidity regulator, uh, maltic acid, uh, fumaric acid, onion powder, barley malt extract, tomato paste, Raisin agent or raisin agent, uh, so sodium bicarbonate, uh, yeast extract, flavoring, just just flavoring, uh, white pal uh, white pepper, beef extract, whatever beef extract is, obviously colon and s the such, uh, kikori extract, uh, stabilizer, exfan gum. Sugar, colour, plain caramel, uh, tomato powder, and garlic powder. For allergens, including cereal containing gluten, see ingredients in bold. Um, so let's have a look at the nutrient facts on this. Or the nutritional information. Um, so typical value is uh, per 100 grams, which, yeah, is pretty standard. This one's 200 grams. So, it's 198 calories, uh, 9.5 grams of fat, of which is sultrate, which is 5 grams, uh, 21.8 grams of carbohydrates, of which are sugars, is 0 0.5, 0 0.8 grams of fiber, 5.5 grams of protein, and 10 grams of um, sorry, 10 grams of salt, Jesus Christ. Um, 1.2 grams of salt in this bad boy. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to cook it now. So, you open the uh, ring pool first and remove the lid. You don't really want to put that in a microwave. Uh, turn it upside down onto a microwave full plate and cook on full power for 90 seconds. And leave to stand for 30 seconds, carefully remove ball and tuck in. Based on a 750 watt microwave, which I think got an 800. I don't want it to sound like I'm bragging then. Um, all microwave ovens vary and heat instructions should be used as a guide only. If you have any comments or require more information, please contact Frey Bentos Foods. And they're based in Scotland, apparently, not in uh, Uruguay. So yeah, microwave in 90 seconds, so that's what I'm going to do now. I will see you in 90 seconds. 
Oh my god. Uh, here we go. So yeah, uh, it started oozing out this like, well, well, it's gravy and it also mixed with the fat from like, I guess the suet. So it's sort of like emulsified um, into what I only I can describe as a bloody disgusting heap of vile food. Um, it looks absolutely disgusting. But now, before I chuck this in my mouth, which I'm really regretting, um, I'm going to do the unveiling. So I'm going to lift a pot. Oh, did you hear that? Listen. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh, the pudding stuck in the bloody... It sounds like it's bloody gonna kill me. It probably will, to be fair. Pudding stuck in the bloody. Oh no. Presentation wise. Yeah. I'll let you decide that one. Fabentos pudding. Um, I'm guessing that, you know. Fay Bentos want you to serve it with um, potatoes and veg, but I'm not even going to waste potatoes and veg on this disgusting mess. I mean, look at it. Let's just mix the fat in a minute. And look. Oh, the steak is so light. That, that probably melts in your mouth. Look at that. Mmm. I know you want to. Or don't. Do you think it looks like the picture? I don't think it does. It's like the episode of The uh, Simpsons where uh, Homer's building a bonfire and he looks at the um, looks at the instructions and goes, "Oh, that's a <laughs> that's a barbecue." Pulls it away and that's his barbecue. <laughs> Ew. Right, let's put this in my mouth. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try the steak first. Yeah, just what I expected. It just melts in the mouth. It's got a strange flavour. It tastes, it tastes vaguely steaky, but the, the gravy doesn't really have any flavour to it, which is expected. Anyway, let's try some of the suet. Let's get a bit of gravy in that. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Mm. Hungry? No, not anymore. I know. Ooh. Yeah, that isn't good. That isn't good. Um. Yeah, it's just like a mushy, disgusting mess, really. It doesn't really taste so much. Let's go and get some more gravy on the suet. Mmm. That was a really fatty bit, then. Yo, look at it. Ooh. Oh. <coughs> that is vile. It's not. Alright. I'm being a bit too harsh on it. It's not vile. It's edible. Just about. But you wouldn't want to have it as a meal. You you wouldn't, wouldn't really want to have it at all. But, you know, I can't really complain. It's, it was only a pound. Well, I can complain because it's absolutely disgusting. So yeah, um, the pie, or the pudding, that gave me the inspiration to start this channel. Let's do a nice little thumbnail. Probably not going to use this as my thumbnail. I think people will be turned away if I use that as a thumbnail. So um, yeah, have you tried one of these? You can let me know if you want down in the comments. Probably probably you haven't tried this but um would i recommend you go out and try it no not in a million years you know stick to a pucker pie can't go wrong with a pucker pie or uh, yeah a pie minster pie if you if you're a little bit up market and you want a treat so uh yeah 
hope you enjoyed this video there'll be plenty more where that's coming um aiming to try uh something discussing every every week um next um i'm thinking about doing a poundland ready meal um because that'd be interesting haven't really seen a poundland ready meal before i went in there the other day when i brought this and uh saw one so wouldn't mind trying that um so yes yeah, stay tuned for that if you've got any suggestions leave them down in the comments below and until next time eat safe and don't give yourself food poisoning